In this video, I'm going to show how to rebalance channels in the Ride the Lightning wallet. So here I've got four channels, and you can see my open node channel is really unbalanced. I've got almost all of my money on the remote side, 481,000 versus 14,000 on my local side. This is bad because I can't really send money out. I can only receive money. Also, if I was um, going to route a payment, I wouldn't be able to route it in this direction from local to remote. So there's a feature in here that lets you shift some of your money um, from one node or one channel to another channel. And if I click this uh, drop down here, you can see circular rebalance. So what I'm going to try and do is send some of this money that's on my local balance of bit refill out and then back in to my open node local side. So I'm, I'll start off with, uh, let's try 100,000. And we'll pick open node. So here's some more information about it. You're making a payment to yourself and you send it out from the selected channel and receive it back on the other one. I don't know why this is called receive. It feels more like I'm sending to this open node. I click estimate fee and this will take a few seconds. So this is 9800 millisats so that's only about 10 sats. Type in the limit here. I don't really, this is very very small. And then hit rebalance. So I got an error, no route. And if I start again, so six hops is maybe a lot. And all this is doing, I believe, is checking the channel capacity between all these hops. But it, the local and the remote balance of all these channels between my two nodes is not public information. If the balances are wrong, I won't be able to send my funds through these hops. Uh, and I can't find that out until I actually try. So one thing I'm gonna, I can do is try to just send a smaller amount, say 10,000. In general, smaller amounts are easier to send. And it also costs less because the fees are, there's a fixed part of a fee and then a fee component that's based on a percentage of the amount you're sending. So that's why that's smaller. And that 10,000 was successful. So if we go back here, let me refresh this. Now you can see I've got um, 24,000 here. And that was pulled out of my bit refill. And if we go into our transactions, here's that 10,000. I can see the route it took. So it went from bit refill to Nightling to open node and then back to me. The cost was 21 sats. So let's see if I can do a little bit larger amount. Let's try 50,000. And I'll just choose, um, let's see, 2% of 50,000 would be 1,000. So this still says number of hops 3, so that seems like it might have a good chance of going through. All right, it worked. My fee that time was 125 sets. That might have been why my initial attempts to do the rebalance failed. I wasn't paying enough of a fee. So if I refresh, now I've got 74,000 in uh, open node and 500,000 here. Let's try uh, one more time. And um, let's try and do 100,000. Again, open node.
Well, let's do the percentage again. So 2%, that'd be 2,000 sats. Payment failed, but I guess no information on that. So I guess one option is for me to uh, keep doing smaller amounts. Let's try that. I was trying to get to 100 in the first place and I've done 60,000, let's try 40,000. Wait for the estimate, three hops again, that's a good sign. All right, it worked. Refresh this. So I was able to rebalance over 100,000 sats. I had to do it in three different transactions from my bit refill channel to my open node channel. And here you can see the transactions, 40,000, 50,000, and 10,000. So that's how you can rebalance your nodes to uh, be better equipped to both route payments and send in the direction you want.